from Argentina, from Buenos Aires, uh, the land of gauchos, of tango, of good wine, uh, beef. And uh, I came to this country, uh, specifically to this area, 10 years ago. Most of the Latinx in this uh, city are from Mexico. However, there are also people from Puerto Rico, from Guatemala, Honduras. Um, I'm from Argentina, for example. Uh, I have colleagues who are from Peru, uh, Chile. So as you can see, again, we are really, what we say, a mosaic uh, rather than um, a monolith. Currently, 10% of the population in Sarasota corresponds to Latinx individuals. That's about 46,000 people. And when you look at the schools between kindergarten and high school, one quarter of the students are Latinx. The term Latinx refers to people who uh, are of Latin American origin or descent. And the difference between Latinx and Latino or Latina is that Latinx is a gender neutral, uh, non-binary term. So it um, gives us space, it recognizes, acknowledges those who do not identify themselves as either male or female. Uh, personally, I like the term Latinx because of that, because of the gender neutral. That's part of the beauty of our community of Latinos, that we are diverse. And one of the many ways in which we show that diversity is by not having one single term to define us. Sarasota is a city that really offers uh, many opportunities for everybody. Uh, personally, uh, as a Latinx uh, woman and professional, uh, I can only be grateful to Sarasota for the many opportunities that it has uh, provided me. Um, but we have to consider that not everybody right, has the same access to the opportunities. And when we talk about the Latinx community, there are many different types of um, um, Immigrants. We have some immigrants who, uh, for example, in my case, you know, I was able to come, obtain a green card, uh, then I became a naturalized citizen. But there are some people who lack a piece of paper that allows them to uh, work uh, lawfully. Uh, so the opportunity for them are certainly fewer than the ones that somebody like me has, right? Um, but overall, I can assure you that uh, when talking with uh, other Latinx people, uh, regardless of their immigration uh, status, they will all agree, at least all the ones that I have spoken with, that they are grateful for the opportunities that this area has provided to them because there are definitely many more than the ones that they had in their home country. Another of the wonderful things about the Latinx community here is that we do everything. Um, many times there's this stereotype that Latinx people do specific jobs, right? And it's true, there are many people in our community who work in landscaping uh, businesses, uh, who work in the hospitality industry, but there are also uh, other professionals. Uh, I work in a nonprofit sector. Uh, there are doctors, there are in, in nurses, there are uh, teachers, and um, I believe that that's important to, to talk about because we contribute to the community in many different ways and uh, we are proud of who we are and also proud uh, of uh, the jobs that we have. And in addition, we are grateful for the opportunities that we have been here in Sarasota. There are so many stories and they're heartbreaking. Uh, I know the story of a family that uh, came from Peru because uh, they were living there when uh, the Sendero Luminoso, the shiny path, uh, was a guerrilla that was, you know, basically um, uh, kidnapping people and, and, and killing them. So they were afraid and they came to this country in search of a safer place to live. Uh, I know the story of a family from Mexico uh, whose father was uh, threatened uh, to be killed if they didn't leave because uh, the, the father had been involved in a gang when he was younger and he could not really uh, get away from that past. So stories like these are so many and, and really heartbreaking. And it's just amazing the, um, the strength, the determination, the resilience that uh, so many Latinx people have you know, to come from another country, leave everything behind and start all over again here uh, without knowing anybody, uh, just because they feel that they need to be in a safer place. Uh, there's another family, for example, um, it's a mom with uh, three daughters. They came from Venezuela. Uh, the mom was a uh, construction uh, engineer and um, in Venezuela, and uh, here she could not 
uh, validate her degree, so she works uh, cleaning houses. And she's doing that to provide her daughter with a safer place and a better future than the one that they would have had if they had stayed in Venezuela. Unfortunately, at times we face racism in Sarasota. For example, uh, not long ago, I was having dinner with some friends from Peru in downtown Sarasota. And we were speaking in Spanish. And uh, a lady sitting uh, at a table next to us asked us where we were from. And we said, well, from here. <laughs> and then she said, well, where are you from? And we said, well, I'm from Argentina originally, and my friends are originally from Peru. And then she said, so why are you speaking uh, Spanish if you're here in a country that uh, speaks English? Uh, and this has happened many times to a lot of people. Uh, my response to this person was, well, that's our superpower. We speak two languages. Uh, and I, I truly find these opportunities as a way for us to educate others about the fact that it's fine to speak a different language. Uh, in fact, um, when I became a citizen of the United States a few years ago, I was told by an immigration officer that there is no official language in this country. So we can speak whichever language we want. Uh, and uh, I think that's one of the wonderful things of this nation, right? That we are all immigrants in a way, except for those who are natives. I think that what makes a community thrive is true love. And by true love, I mean uh, what uh, the Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, has defined as that. Uh, loving kindness, compassion, joy, and freedom. Uh, if you think of that, uh, imagine what a beautiful community would be if uh, it was uh, surrounded by that, right? By, by love, by compassion, by understanding. Uh, and a thriving community doesn't have to be one where everybody is the same or has the same uh, ways of thinking or uh, political ideas. I think that uh, part of the um, beauty of uh, having a community thrive is the fact that we all bring something, we all add, and we can all make our place better with whatever we are bringing uh, to share with others. When I hear the word community, I think of people together. I, I feel that it has to do with having something in common. It doesn't have to be the same goal for everybody in the community, but there has to be something that brings us together in a way or another. Um, so community to me is about that, about finding what we have in common and putting the energy there rather than on what makes us different.